This is the general equation of conics. To identify that whether an equation is an ellipse, we need to make sure that a times c is bigger than 0, where c cannot be 0. In this given equation, 4x squared plus 25y squared minus 8x plus 150y plus 129 equals 0. 4 is the a and 25 is the c. 4 times 25 is bigger than 0. 100 is bigger than 0, so the equation is an ellipse. So now we are going to convert the general equation of the ellipse into standard form. The standard form of the ellipse is x minus h squared divided by a squared plus y minus h squared divided by b squared equal 1. This is the ellipse equation that we used before. First, we can subtract 129 from the both sides. Then, we rearrange the x terms and the y terms. Next, we can factor these two expressions, 4x squared minus 8x into 4 times x squared minus 2x, and 25y squared plus 150y factor into 25 times y squared plus 6y equal negative 129. We need to find the square root of the x and the y equation, so we need to first find the c. The b of the x equation is negative 2, so the c is the square of negative 2 divided by 2 equal 1. 6 is the b of the y equation, so c equals the square of 6 divided by 2, which equal 9. Now we can put the c inside of the expression to create a trinomial. When we plus 1 to the equation, we need to remember to also minus 1. For the y trinomial, we need to plus 9 and also minus 9. Next, we need to find the perfect square of the trinomial. To find the square of x plus or minus a number, we need to divide the b by 2. Divide negative 2 and 6 by 2, we had the perfect square of each trinomial. Then we use distributive property to multiply each expression and to expand them. After we expand the equation, we could subtract negative 4 and negative 225, which we got negative 229. Then we plus 229 to both sides, which we got 4 times the square of x minus 1 plus 25 times the square of y plus 3, which equal 100. Changing the ellipse equation into standard form, we need to make sure that the equation equals 1. So we need to divide 100 from the both side of the equation. After simplifying the equation, we got the square of x minus 1 divided by 25 plus the square of y plus 3 divided by 4, which equals 1. And this is the standard form of the ellipse equation. To graph the ellipse, we need to first find the a and the b. a squared equals 25, so a equals 5, which is the height. b squared equals 4, b equals 2, which is the width. We can see that b is smaller than a, which means that the length of the width is smaller than the height, which we got a vertical ellipse. Next, we need to find the center of the ellipse, which is h and k. h is the x-intercept, and k is the y-intercept. x minus 1 equals 0, so the x-intercept is 1. y plus 3 equals 0, so y-intercept is negative 3. Now we can graph the center of the ellipse, which is 1 comma negative 3. B equals 2, so we need to move two points left and right of the center of the ellipse to create the width. A equals 5, so we need to move five points up and down from the ellipse to create the height of the ellipse. Now we can draw the ellipse by connecting the four points.